Now the Gypsy King's son noticed this too. He was completely taken aback by Gwen when she walked in. In fact, he was so struck that his knees started knocking, his shoulders started twitching, and his eyes started moving around. He didn't know what to do. And when she came closer to him, he decided he had to try and talk to her because she was so amazing. So he walked up to her and tried his best to start a conversation. But the words just wouldn't come out. Hello there, he finally managed to say. Um, may I, I, uh, oh, uh, oh, sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Can I, uh, oh, um, but Gwen knew exactly what to say. Hello, she said. Do you think maybe, um, maybe we could have a dance? And he nodded, very relieved that she'd been so clever to make sure that they could dance together. But they didn't just have one dance. They danced and danced and danced for the whole night. I don't know about you, but I love dancing. Do you like dancing? Yeah, but do you know the thing is in fairy stories, they don't tend to dance like we would dance now, by just kind of shaking their hands and arms around. They used to put one arm on somebody else's shoulder and they'd hold their hand with their hand like that and they'd move around the room like this which a lot of people call waltzing. It's very clever. And then you move your feet around like that. I tell you what, should we all give it a go? Should we all try and have a little waltz around the room? If you have some space, why don't you stand up now and let's all pretend we're at the ball with Gwyn and the Gypsy Prince and we'll all have a lovely dance together, okay? So if you've got a partner there, put your hand on their shoulder and then you hold hands like that and then you could dance around. If you're by yourself, don't worry, you could do it by yourself. You could even practice with a coat if you wanted to, or with your mummy or daddy, or with anybody else. Maybe the dog will dance with you. Sometimes they can be very clever and do that. Should we give it a go all together? On the count of three, let's all have a lovely dance. Ready? One, two, three. Carry on dancing. And you know, as Gwyn and the Gypsy Prince were dancing together, the sisters who had to dance by themselves, because no one wanted to dance with them, kept on dancing close to try and get a look. Do you know, I've never seen her before in my life, said the tall sister. No, I know. I don't know who she is, but I've never seen her either. So I don't think she could be very important at all. Hmm, no said the taller sister. I think she just must be one of those sort of foreign princesses or something. Not very important at all. I can't believe he's even interested in her. They carried on dancing and a few times the sisters tried to bang into the prince and Gwen to try and get them to separate. But they were looking at each other so hard that they didn't even notice. They could both feel their hearts beating and butterflies in their tummy and fireworks in their brain. Oh! And they knew that they had fallen in love at first sight. In fact, they were having such a good time together that they didn't notice the hours slip on and on and on until the night got darker and darker and darker. They were dancing and dancing and dancing until all of a sudden Gwyn started to hear the clock outside strike 12. Bong! Oh no! said Gwen. I've got to go, I'm sorry, I've got to go. I, I can't believe it, I can't believe I stayed this long. Well, where have you got to go? said the prince. I I, I could take you, I could... No, 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 I, I have to leave now, you don't understand. Bong! The two sisters noticed what was going on. Oh, she's in a bit of a hurry to leave, isn't she? Where's she going? 
bong. Gwen was running through the ballroom. Everybody was watching this girl as she started disappearing away. Why is she in such a hurry, they said. How strange. I wonder if the prince has something rude to her. Bong. She finally got outside. She could already feel her dress beginning to change back into the rags. Bong. She felt her beautiful shoes melt away from her feet. Suddenly, she was barefoot again and running fast as she could away from the hall where the party was. Bong! She started to run closer and closer towards her horse, who by now was just Brian, the old Shire horse, munching on the hay. The other bongs carried on. The prince kept running after her, but he couldn't see where she'd gone after a while. For Gwyn had jumped onto her horse and ridden into the night. As he ran to the spot where she was, he looked all around for her, heartbroken that this girl that he'd fallen in love with had suddenly disappeared. As he was looking around, he looked down onto the floor and he noticed a beautiful silver bracelet. <gasps> this must be her bracelet, he said to himself. I will find her by finding the woman who fixed this bracelet on her wrist. I'll go down the whole country and whoever fits this bracelet will be my wife. And so that's what he did. <laughs> <laughs>